All right, what's going on, everybody? It is just after 6 a.m. We are waking up. I'm gonna take you guys through my fat loss morning routine. I can't see right now because I don't have my contacts in, so I can't even see like really what I look like, so apologies there. But we do have our mouth tape. Um, quick explanation there. So in my sleep, I do typically have a little bit of snoring going on and a little bit of mouth breathing. So I got these little tape things, these hostage tape. Uh, not a sponsor or anything like that, just a great product in my opinion. Um, and they have these little black things that you put on your mouth to um, help you not mouth breathe at night. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn the fan off. Um, I don't really make my bed too much. I kind of just like, I don't know, take the pillows, maybe rearrange them, just kind of make it look semi-nice. So that's like the first thing I do. Uh, once again, it's not like a full make. Like there's a guy on YouTube who like literally irons his bed sheets in the morning or something crazy like that. Um, that is not what I do. I just try to make it semi nicer so I don't get back in it. I mean, like something like that. Uh, Katie would probably do a little bit more if she was here, but she's not. So that's kind of um, a sad thing, but also her last week of PA school. And um, since I do get up a little bit earlier than she does, sometimes I couldn't film this video without her being calm. So I guess it's an okay thing for you. Um, but yeah, without further ado. I'm going to use the restroom. I'm not going to film that, and then I'll pick the camera back up afterwards. Okay, so pretty much the very first thing, get out of bed, turn off the sound machine, take off the mouth tape, semi-make the bed, use the bathroom, wash the hands. I want to wash them again, just because, um, A, I need to put my contacts, so I really want to have clean hands, and B, um, I think some people don't trust me, because one time I told people, um, in a video, this is my kind of like delirious is talking. Um, I like touched some raw chicken or something at home during a recipe. He said, Oh, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick, cut the clip, and then went back. And somebody's like, I don't think he washed his hands. I'm like, Dude, like, um, I don't know why I'm just gonna film it or put it in the video. You think I maybe didn't do something, but I did. Also, I cannot see uh, what's currently being filmed either. Um, like, so as far as my personal prescription, um, I'm a negative three, 2.5, which I don't know if you have contacts or something out there. Um, people want to know what that is. It's not, I mean, the worst thing in the world, but right now, like I literally am looking at the camera and I have the little like uh, attachment to see what I'm filming out and I cannot see I, anything. Like I cannot make it out whatsoever. Um, so basically I'm blind right now. Um, this clip might be the worst frame shot um, clip of all time. So we're gonna go ahead, put our contacts in just so I can see and actually film the video for you guys. Cause I'm pretty sure as of right now, it's gonna be um, a little bit of a battle, but let's see. Also, I get a question of how I put my contacts in. I've been doing it for years. It's just kinda uh, second nature at this point. I still need a mirror or something to look at, but when I'm traveling or um, I can even do it with my phone. I could probably go by feel, but if I have a mirror, it just makes it a million times better. Okay, so now I can actually see. So we can definitely have zoom that in a little bit. Turn it over. Probably angle it up a touch. Oh, that's probably a little bit better. Um, okay, so contacts down. Next thing, mouth. I hate the feeling of having like grossness in my mouth in the morning. So brushing the teeth, doing the um, mouthwash, all that good stuff. But one thing I do wear a retainer. I also have this little pod thing. Hopefully you can see this. So it's a little dental cleaner. Uh, so basically you can just add some water into that. Hopefully I do need to zoom out a little bit more so you guys can see the sink. There, there we go. So this little dental pod right here. Uh, and basically all you have to do, um, Take your retainer out. I do give them a quick rinse before I put it in, but basically just quick rinse, drop them in there. And then basically what it does is it has a little like vibration thing. Um, I've also used it to clean jewelry before, but I definitely clean out before you do anything like that. Just turn that on and it's gonna do like hypersonic uh, cleaning or something like that. Um, so that's actually clutch. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our toothpaste. Actually, I feel like normally, I'm trying to remember just like exactly what I do as I film this. Just a quick little mouth rinse. 
Um, all right, toothpaste. Boom. Now we brush our teeth. Alrighty, brushing down the teeth is done. Now let's put a little. Shh. Also, just recently switched to a manual or um, <laughs> an electric toothbrush. Um, since the move, I actually had a manual one forever, and I don't know why I waited so long to get an electric toothbrush. They're a game changer. Then we have this. I don't think I can see that. Boop. This is TheraBreath, dentist formulated fresh breath, um, icy mint, or look at that, invigorating icy mint. Um, this is something that actually Katie got me hooked on. So I wasn't really a huge mouthwash guy. Before Katie got me into it, I wasn't really a huge mouthwash guy, but I don't know, something about it, just having that, like, I do it at night and I do it in the morning, just having, like, fresh breath before I go to bed and, like, until, like, the start of my day, just the next level, now we need to weigh ourselves. And then the last thing, I don't know why, I don't know where I should look, I should look there or there, but the last thing I do in the morning is go ahead and wash our face. So we got some warm water, we're going to do a quick little splash. We got the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. A little bit of that in the hand. Oh, that was actually a lot. That's all right. Do that quick little mix. And then onto the face. And no, this doesn't have anything to do with fat loss, but it's what I do in the morning. And some people ask, slash, I see videos on YouTube all the time of people doing the morning routine. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just go over it. Uh, also, spoiler alert, just in general, nothing I'm going to do this morning is special or causing more fat loss than anything else. A fat loss or fat loss routines are what keep you in a calorie deficit. But getting up early in the morning, going to get my steps, getting ready for the day, it is all kind of like helping with the mindset, priming me and setting me up for a calorie deficit in general. But how you lose fat is a calorie deficit over time. So hopefully that's not a spoiler alert. And uh, yeah, that's all you came for. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Otherwise, I'll show you guys the rest of my routine. our face we do moisturize I use the Sarah oh, CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion uh, also my entire skincare routine has been brought to you by Katie Sedlak so um, my girlfriend kind of set me up I did have a little bit of a routine myself like before we moved in um, but definitely wasn't a lot and I was like you know what I'm an adult now <laughs> I've been an adult for a while I was like, I should just have just like the absolute basics. Uh, just like a morning face wash, moisturizer, evening face wash, moisturizer. Uh, so that's why we kind of got set up. But I will say, luckily, um, I did definitely have a phase in high school where I was, um, yeah, I had a lot of acne. I broke out all the time. Like there were literally like no pictures of me from like freshman year to junior year of high school because of how much I hated all the acne I had. Um, so yeah, literally there are very few photos that exist and I hate them all. Um, but yeah, without further ado, sometimes I'll do something with the hair, like I'll wet it and throw some gel in it, but today I probably plan to wear a hat most of the day, or when I do go out to the gym, which is the only thing I'm going to go out, out for, um, I'll also wear a hat, so sometimes I do something like with the hair, wet it, put some gel in it, or some, um, what's this stuff called, um, clay, is it clay? But this is what I'll occasionally put in my hair, is this blue man stuff, there we go, it's just like pomade um, this has like yeah natural hold freshness something like that but uh, occasionally I'll throw that in my hair but I'll like I'll wet my hair do that uh, but yeah like I said since today I don't really have to all we're gonna do is wash the face and then I do normally take my supplements uh, well not normally but I do I will take my supplements but first thing I'm gonna do some vacuums um, essentially for vacuums what I like to do is I'll kind of have I'll, I'll just have a better, better angle for you guys 
All right, so for the vacuums, I actually typically do these like throughout my morning routine. So like right after I brush my teeth, I'll do one. Um, after I do my mouth wash, I'll do one. But essentially what we're gonna do, I like to have some sort of forward lean and support. You can do them straight up. Um, you can do them on your back. I would say do them on the back is like the very first step just so you have gravity helping you. Then as you get better, you want to basically fight gravity and like suck your stomach up against gravity. So personally, I'm right here. Maybe like, what, what's my angle? Like 45 degrees, something like that. So basically what we're gonna go ahead and do, exhale all our air and just suck our, like basically try to get our belly button to our back. So I'll do a quick angle like this for one rep and hold it for anywhere from 10, I would say five to 15 seconds, somewhere in there. So air out. Honestly, and then cold breaths. Deep breaths. I didn't hold that very long because I'll be admit my like my breathing was off, so I was trying to talk and breathe at the same time. But I'll do uh, three to four sets. So we'll do one more set here. I'm just gonna blow my nose. I'll be right back. All right, one more set of stomach vacuums. Hopefully it makes sense. Like it's kind of hard to explain, but basically what we're trying to do is exhale, and then. That was not a full exhale, but exhale and then kind of bring our stomach in. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll also get my water so I can take my vitamins right after. But let's see here. you will be out of breath. But the biggest thing there is you will be out of breath. The biggest thing there is to do it on an empty stomach. If you try to do this later in the day, after you eat your first meal, after you drink a bunch of water, it's gonna be a lot harder. So do that fasted. And then pretty much as soon as that's over for me, we'll go ahead, we got some water in here. We have our supplements right there. So we'll go ahead and pop that. Boom. A little agua, supplements down. Now we can get changed. Today's a leg day, and that sometimes kind of helps determine the fit because we're gonna go with a t-shirt, the classic t-shirt. This is the Havoc tee from Barbell Apparel. If you guys see me wearing a plain t-shirt, it's always this one. It's got great stretch on it. It's got a four-way stretch, I believe, and like moisture waking, I don't know. But it's just a great t-shirt, especially for the gym. So we've got this guy right there. We're wearing just a pair of uh, just compression liners, and then we have our anime shorts. These are some from Bleach. Uh, you can see Ichigo right there if you watch Bleach. So pretty much every leg day, I have a pair of anime shorts, and I'll be wearing a barbell apparel top. Um, link down below in the description if you want any barbell apparel. I love their polos, their Havoc tees, um, their shorts. That's pretty much what I live in. And then they do have some good uh, joggers as well, but obviously it's like 73 degrees already, so we're not wearing joggers anymore. Um, we go ahead and throw on our necklace. I'm trying to think, yeah. Actually, yeah. Let's go ahead and get changed in three, two. All right, so fit it up for the day. Uh, two things, I guess, like kind of piece of jewelry. You're not really jewelry, but I guess accessories you can call them that I wear. So I have my Garmin watch. So boom, Garmin uh, 165 Forerunner, I believe is what it's called. And then just a little gold chain. Um, honestly, I can't remember where I got this from. I want to say maybe like, is it Jax Jackson? Like J-X-X-O-N, something like that. But uh, just a small gold chain that I wear. Um, honestly, I never thought I'd be a chain guy. Uh, I got this on prep last year, actually while I was down in Houston. Um, and I kind of just fell in love with it. I think it's a good aesthetic. Um, it matches my gold watch that I wear occasionally, which is just a Casio. So let me go and put this on real quick. I'll show you guys that Casio watch. Boom, there we go. Uh, and then occasionally this is my like, pretty much my favorite watch of all time, this little Casio right here. So if I do anything, I match it I'm just like, more of a, I thought it was gonna be a silver, or I was a silver jewelry person for a long time, and I definitely think I'm more gold. But um, anyway, I got some socks on, and this morning routine's taking longer than I thought because the fact that I have to like film everything and set up the clips. So normally this doesn't take me this long, and I'm outside by now for sure. But we're gonna go ahead and grab our phone, our AirPods, and go for our morning walk. 
Before we go on our walk, all we need is a water bottle full of water because I will be drinking some water as we walk. So we've got that and close that up. Also did get a new water bottle. If you guys remember, I used to always rock the Nalgene, that guy right there. But after a while, honestly, just realizing that I do probably not want any sort, once again, I'm not going crazy, um, <laughs> but I do think there is something we said about microplastics in like plastic Tupperware, plastic bottles, stuff like that. So I try to do the best I can. Once again, there are, are like, oh, I should have a water filter. I should have a air filter. Like, trust me, I'm gonna work my way up. I do wanna optimize myself, be the best kind of like healthy human being I can. And I definitely think there are ways to do that with products. Um, but I think the biggest thing is just taking care of yourself, right? The morning steps we're about to go get is way more valuable than thinking about, okay, plastic Tupperware versus silver Tupperware. Just like eat healthy, take care of your body, work out. That's like the bare minimum and you can kind of go to that next level and climb the stairs. We've got a Hydro Flask over here. Like I mentioned, brand new. We're gonna go ahead and pop in our AirPods to listen to um, an audio book, a little business audio book in the morning because I'm already thinking about business stuff anyway, so might as well make it a good use of time. And then we just gotta throw our shoes on and we'll be able to get out the door. So uh, we have this little cubby for shoes. I don't know if, I think you guys might have seen that in like the apartment update, uh, but basically it just has like a little drawer and then boop, and you can pull some shoes out, boop, just like that. And these will match the um, Ichigo design a little bit today. So we got some shoes we need to throw on. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna take the actual nice camera with me and just film some clips of the walk because I think it's a really cool view. It's fantastic and it's later than it should be because I'm normally out the door by like 6.20 and it's 6.40 because, yeah, having to film. So let's get outside. Eat it. Go get your steps in. All right, and this is the view at like the end of the street of the walk. Pretty cool. You can see across the Cincinnati over there, the Red Stadium, Great American Insurance Building, the bridge, Bengal Stadium is, you can't really see it, but it's actually kind of in between that. But yeah, that is the walk. Our building is not that building, it's like on the other side of that building, so yeah, pretty cool. Now we'll go ahead, head on home. And just like that, we're back from our morning walk. Typically, I do anywhere from 15 to 30, sometimes an hour if I have a little more time. It's Monday morning, so the time is not on our side. We got a lot to do, lots of check-ins to get through, lots of work, editing videos, a lot of good stuff. So um, I guess kind of that could be the end of your like kind of like morning routine. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I think some people might um, debate whether that's a part of a morning routine, um, because sometimes I will sit down on my computer, knock out like maybe 30 minutes of work first, and then actually have my breakfast. And I know some people are just getting ready to go to the day. Obviously my commute is, I don't know, maybe about 30 feet to my desk over there. And if you have a commute to work, you wanna be a little bit more efficient, maybe just a protein shake, um, a banana, get out the door, maybe some oats, get out the door. But I'm gonna be making some eggs. So we're gonna be having, I'll go ahead and show you guys. We're gonna be having four of these cage-free brown eggs. We got four of those. We're gonna have a little bit of butter cooked in our pan. We got some sourdough bread in the toaster. And we have a bell pepper and an orange as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna whip this up. We're gonna do basically, uh, yeah, four eggs on two pieces of toast, but actually it's gonna be three pieces because we have some very small pieces. So we're gonna do two small pieces and one big or regular size piece. And that's pretty much my morning routine. Typically it takes me about an hour to do everything, but since I had to film, break out the tripod, move things around, it took me a little bit longer and it's already 7.09. But typically if I wake up right at six, I can be at my desk having eaten breakfast around 6, 6.10. So I just realized that, yeah, it's taking a little bit longer because I'm filming this content, which is pretty much whenever I film, right? It's gonna take a little bit longer. You gotta set up the camera, you gotta get the right angles, make sure um, everything's explained, talk to you guys, that kind of thing. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna set the camera down real quick cook up breakfast i'll show you guys the final product Oop, toast just popped up and yeah pretty much go over the that's pretty much my routine yeah every morning and just like that breakfast is served we got our four eggs our two well three pieces of toast as you can see there's a very little one under there we've got our bell pepper got our orange got rhett and link for our good morning because 
every single weekday morning that they post, I sit down, I eat breakfast, and I watch that. And that is pretty much just like, yeah, part of my morning routine, I guess you'd say. But as a whole, as I mentioned before, earlier on in the video, this fat loss morning routine, I know that's the title and thumbnail, but like, it is what I'm doing while I'm in a fat loss phase. Is anything that I'm doing specifically going to make me lose fat? Eating a calorie deficit will, but anything from this morning, I would say waking up early, one, is gonna allow me to set myself up for success for the day, making sure I have some semblance of like health going on as far as like use the bathroom, brush your teeth, have a metric to measure as far as weighing yourself in the morning. Um, the stomach vacuums are more of an aesthetic that I like to have control of my abdominal region. Hopefully, I don't think it's really building my abs, but it's allowing me to have a little bit more ab definition or not ab definition, ab control. The morning walk, I think, is definitely gonna help you with fat loss. Seeing some sunlight is gonna help with your, uh, once again, just overall mood, testosterone, get some steps, get some sunlight. It's just lots of good studies on it, so definitely get some sunlight in the morning. And then as far as breakfast goes, once again, like if this was a breakfast where I was having 12 eggs or pancakes and bacon and lots and lots of calories, it probably wouldn't help me set myself up for the day. But the fact that I'm having, uh, once again, for myself, about four eggs, some toast, and then a, a pepper and an orange is a good way for me to start my day, around 600 calories, and also hold me over until um, maybe I have a banana pre-workout and then my post-workout shake. So this is pretty much setting myself up for success. Your morning routine might be a little bit different, but the key to fat loss is a calorie deficit. The morning routine just helps you kind of set yourself up for success within the day itself. Without further ado, that is the morning routine. If you guys have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, how I got, excuse me, into this routine itself, let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.